boss narrow defeat for us at home to Leeds today. Could you just tell us your thoughts after that? Yes, in this type of games, uh, you need to win points in order to earn the right also to be in the next season on this uh, on this level. And um, yes, once you lose such a game, it's it's then disappointing and uh, yeah, uh, horrendous outcome for us today. Performance-wise from the team, did you feel, feel like your team could have done any more in terms of getting the three points? I can't blame my 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 lad. They put a really good uh, performance uh, in today. I think we were the better side. We played on the front foot in the first half, had many good situations in the second half. Yes, more or less out of their first really dangerous situation where Finia was able to score. And you know, I think we had four or five times the same situation in the first half when we tucked inside the the box and were not able to get the shot away. And you know, and yeah, Rafinha showed the quality to score out of this situation. I think great reaction. And you know, we scored the equalizer, put lots of workload in. Stadium was buzzing, and you know, we had the momentum on our side. And um, we were full of confidence and wanted to chase the game to win this game. And, you know, and yeah, sometimes you can be caught on counter-attack, but if you then concede out of such a situation one minute later, and you know, let's be honest, it was not even a chance. It was a strike out of 30 yards, out of a standing position. And you know, this killed the whole momentum, killed the whole mood, and you know, killed the whole uh, confidence. It was, of course, a decisive moment and, you know, in, the, uh, in the game. And um, yes, and you have to say self-critical. We're not playing for warm words, not for perf just good performances, and uh, we're also playing for points. And um, we have to improve our quality in, in, in both boxes in order to win this points. Yeah, a positive to, from today probably is Andrew Mbamadeli came in in the left back position up against Rafinha, scoring his first goal, but also defended quite well against Rafinha. So you must have been pleased with that. I won't blame one of my players and you know, so the story of our, our season so far we've lost against the top three and we had no chance in all three games away at Chelsea away at Man City and also in the home game against Liverpool we had no chance all the other games we are there with goalless draws we are losing the games with one goal I think one or two games with two goals all tight games we get many compliments we are at times a better side on the uh, on the pitch yeah, but we have to add also quality in both boxes. This is uh, this is our topic. In order to be there with a the block, with a save, with a tackle in our own box, and also like, yeah, with the final shot, with the final decisive pass, and the key moment in order to to score goals. And this is what we have to add. So, if you're in this type of games when it's always tight, always competitive, and you're not the the worst side, you're always unlucky. Then it's also a little bit lack of quality, and this is what we have to say, self-critical. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the workload, happy what my players invest into this game. Also happy with performances, so not with each and every moment, but with many, many um, periods during the game. Also today, I think we were in the first half by far the better side, and had also the momentum after the equalizer and the second goal. Yeah, out of nothing, killed, killed in the whole mood and the whole momentum. Anyhow, so what we have to add. It's not about a young player or sometimes even a more experienced player so with a key mistake uh, in the game. We have to add more quality in, in, in both boxes in order to give ourselves the chance to, uh, to win more points. And uh, sadly, we lack this uh, today in the, in the decisive moments. And um, yes, we need to improve this. In terms of the setup of the teams, they obviously Andrew came into the team, but also Milot and Kieran came in as well. Could you just, just tell us your thinking behind bringing those players into the team? After conceding too many goals in the beginning uh, of the season, so it was important to uh, be absolutely solid at the back and we managed this in the, in the last four weeks. Yes, of course, in this terms, uh, the game against uh, Chelsea killed a bit the momentum, but in the uh, three games before we were rock solid in terms of defending, was always the plan then in the home game against uh, Leeds and how to go for it and, and to have many offensive thinking players on the pitch because, yes, it's not enough just to be there with a goal as draw. In this type of games, you need to, you need to win the points and you know, this we wanted, although Oh, we've lost the game against Chelsea with, with many goals want to go for it and want to be brave and I think this paid off in the, the performance we played on the front foot many good situations anyhow yes final third to bring more of the ball over the line and especially also like in our situations how we conceded the goals was then uh, was then disappointing so topic is and will be whatever setup we have if you have many offensive thinking players on the pitch a bit more defensive setup, what we have to use sometimes when we have difficult away games against top sides. We have to show this quality in both boxes, and you know, this is the topic we have to improve. And just a final point on obviously next week's game, one more game before the next international break away at Brentford. So I'm sure you and the team are looking for a positive note to take into the next international break. 
Yes, but after a loss here at home against Leeds, it's not the time anyhow to, to, to uh, give some uh, fighting messages. So it's more or less like um, yeah, also to be self-critical and, and to speak a bit less and, and to work a bit more. So if you don't have the quality and perhaps don't the financial possibilities to to buy high quality players on both uh, ends of the pitch, anyhow, then there's just one, uh, one topic to work even harder on the training pitch. This is what we should do right now. So yes, Brentford away is a quite similar game I would say also against the side of course sadly not a home game but the away game against the side was also um, in the in the bottom half of the uh, of the table and uh, of course in this type of games we were always competitive we were always there also sometimes was better performance than our performance and uh, our opponent but what we have to add is uh, more quality in, uh, in both boxes and you know and this is the topic for the weekend if you can find this quality on the training pitch and also in the individual performances yeah, there's no doubt we have chances uh, to uh, to win this type of games anyhow because it's the only thing we are we are missing. So my lads deserve many compliments in this situation for the workload, for the for the work ethic they put in, for the unity, for also performance-wise anyhow. But we need to find this quality in both boxes.